Hello, VR gamers. This is the journey from this Keep your vector on the target. Oh, no. to this. Welcome to VTOL VR, a fantastic VR flight simulator. In this game, we pilot the latest in combat aircraft, blow things up and get blown up, or just crash into the sea after failing to land on an aircraft carrier for the 50th time in a row. Oh, she's... I give up. The goal? Defeat the hardest mission I could find, an island heavily occupied by the enemy. Standing in the way are hostile fighter jets, surface-to-air missiles, surface ships, and most of all, my own incompetence. Without any further ado, let's start at the beginning learning how to fly a plane. Instead of starting out in the sleek, gracious, glorious F-26, the first tutorials force us to use this box with two jet engines strapped to it. So after learning how to start an aircraft, we move on to getting it off of the ground and almost immediately flip our flying box over while taxiing on the runway. Fortunately, we get up in the air on the second try, despite briefly introducing a wing to the ground. And wow, is it beautiful up here. Okay, now it's time to land. Seems easy, right? Just gotta put the landing gear down, set the flaps. Oh no. So I learned to keep my eyes on the sky while flying, but using these controls while trying to fly an aircraft going a couple hundred knots is like trying to change the song on someone else's phone while going 100 miles an hour down the highway. It's tough, but not too tough. The next time I did all of those things while I was higher up in the air and absolutely nailed the landing. So we can get off the ground and back down again without dying. Nice. Now for the fun stuff, weapons. The first tutorial gives us a rotary cannon and some dumb unguided rockets to play with. So we blow up some stationary tanks that don't shoot back. You'd think this would be easy, but well, my piloting skills were not the best at the time. After managing to miss an astounding number of times, I was completely out of ammunition with a single enemy target left. So I became the ammunition and still missed. Still, I learned a lot and the second try was easy with ammo to spare. Now we get into the really good stuff. The heavy artillery, the ultra-destructive, budget-busting, precision instruments of modern aerial combat. First, air-to-ground missiles guided by the aircraft's targeting computer for precision airstrikes. Pretty nice. And then, at long last, finally, we get to use the F-26. No more box with jets, we're done with that. From here on out, we're using one of the finest aerial fighting craft ever made. Well, we could use the F-45 later on, but that's just too OP. We're trying to do a challenging mission here, not just waltz into combat unseen, fire a bunch of missiles, and just kind of win. Come on, man! That's too easy! In this newest tutorial, we learn about radar-guided missiles by using them against enemy aircraft that also don't shoot back. This will be important later. And then, in another, we learn about anti-radiation air-to-ground missiles. These things are awesome. If an enemy radar on the ground is active, we can lock onto it and hit it with a missile that locks onto the radar signal without ever having to turn our own radar on. This is called SEED, or Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses. If we blow up every radar that turns on, then enemies on the ground will stop turning on their radars to try and shoot long-range radar-guided missiles at us, and this makes taking out enemies at ground or sea level a lot easier. A lot of these weapons will come in handy when we finally tackle the difficult mission on the island. Looking to get a little more experience before tackling this challenge, I looked through whatever else was available and scrolled right past aircraft carrier landing practice because that sounded boring. Little did I know at that time, the absolute hell that awaited me. So I decided on the 2v2 air combat mission as a live fire warm up to the big show. In this mission, me and an AI wingman are pitted against two enemy fighters. So I loaded up a ton of air to air missiles and started the mission. I felt like I knew what I was doing, quickly got a radar lock on one of the bogeys and fired off a couple of missiles. Then suddenly my plane started making a lot of distress noises at me. At this moment, a wrinkle formed in my smooth brain, and I realized that I had never once actually been shot at before, and so was completely unprepared for the enemy missile coming my way. The plane's beeps grew more frantic. I had no idea what to do, so I just kind of panicked, froze, and then blew up. Oh no. That's how I lost the first of many shiny new F-26s. One thing you should know about VTOL VR is that missiles are what is most likely to be your demise. 
So how do we evade an incoming missile? Good question. There are quite a few ways, actually, but since I barely knew what I was doing at the time, I settled for a simple strategy. First, countermeasures. They come in two varieties, flares and chaff. Flares confuse missiles that lock onto our heat signature by hopefully being hotter than our engines, and chaff is a bunch of little pieces of metal that hopefully will confuse any radars trying to lock onto us or radar-guided missiles that are already on us. Good. But we definitely can't rely on countermeasures alone, so our second strategy is maneuvers. There's a lot of ways to do this, including juking the missile at the last second, but that's really hard. And I definitely was not good enough to pull that off reliably. So instead, I opted for trying to bleed out as much of the missile's fuel and energy as possible before it got close. We do this by going higher than the missile so that it fights gravity, or diving really fast away from the missile and turning as it comes towards us so that it has to turn to try to reach where we're going to be. The more the missile has to correct its course, and the further it has to go to reach us, the more likely it is to miss or just run out of fuel. Good stuff. With this strategy, we can actually avoid being hit by every missile that comes our way, but it's not perfect. Ugh. Still, it was enough to head back in and try to win the 2v2 air combat mission again. The tension built as we drew nearer to the two enemy fighters. Seconds passed. It felt like an eternity. And then, finally, a radar contact appeared. I locked on, fired missiles, and the fight began. I evaded one missile, fired more of my own, and evaded another. My strategy was working. I pulled around for another attack just to see the second enemy fighter explode in flames. We done it! Then I noticed a new objective pop up. Surprise! And two new pairs of enemy contacts appeared on either side of us. I'd used more missiles on the first enemies than I probably should have, but with no other option, I just charged in. After barely dodging an enemy missile, one of the two pairs was in flames. I was surprised. It dawned on me that I might actually win. I'd expected to get shot down at least 10 more times before getting this close. So we turned for the final enemy contacts. I only had the shorter ranged missiles left, so I pushed the afterburner and charged right in. And just when I was out of missiles of my own, my wingman shot down the last opponent. So I landed on the airfield below, barely believing that I'd done it. I was ready for the difficult mission. Except that I actually wasn't. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. I found out that the only place to land and rearm in the challenge mission we need to beat is on an aircraft carrier, so now we need to know how to land on one because we're definitely going to need to land and rearm. Landing on an aircraft carrier is hard. It sucks. It just sucks. Or really, I just suck at it. I'm pretty sure anyone who plays this game and doesn't already have a thousand hours in DCS world is gonna suck at this. I tried to land on the wrong side of the carrier, then I crashed. I tried landing on the right side, went too fast, crashed. I finally got the hook on my plane to catch the cable on the carrier, was still going too fast, and crashed. Even this took an insane amount of tries. I still don't know how this ball thingy works, so I failed more, crashed more, eventually I realized I was coming in too fast, then I realized I was landing too late and missing the wire, and eventually, I just got it. It's done, I can do it, kind of, like 50% of the time, mostly without crashing. Let's just get on with what's really interesting here, and not how much aircraft carrier landings suck! The difficult mission. Let's get on to the main event. We start the difficult mission on a carrier with allied planes taking off all around us. We would take off with them, but I briefly forgot how to turn the aircraft on. After figuring that out, we're up in the sky and ready to rock. Then a missile immediately locked onto us and took out both engines. Not a great first try, but that didn't matter. I figured if we got up in the air a little sooner, then everything would be all right. I started up and took off a little earlier this time. While our wingmen fought the enemy warplanes above, I decided to stay close to the waves and use a couple of air-to-ground anti-radiation missiles on the enemy radar stations. And I strayed too close to the enemy ships and was shot down. This time, I took out the closest radars instead of straying near the enemy ships and actually managed to fire off a couple of missiles at the enemy fighters before one of them fired a missile down at me from on high and blew me up. Don't flip! All right, so it was getting obvious that the enemy fighters were probably the biggest threat. So this time, we immediately took off into the sky and engaged them directly. I fired a ton of air-to-air -air missiles as quickly as possible and even got a gun's kill before getting locked by a missile at close range and I blew up. Only half of the enemy fighters were destroyed. Took off, fired air missiles, got to shore, fired ground missiles, spotted another wing of four enemy fighters coming around the other end of the island, panicked, ran, missed a ton of shots, blew up. Flew up, fired missiles, shot down by missile. Lost an engine to a missile, crashed while trying to land on the carrier. Took another missile up the tailpipe almost immediately. <sighs> 
So clearly just running right into the massive air battle wasn't working. The enemy has more planes, more ships, and Sam's on the shore. Every time I got close to anything, a missile would be launched my way. I dodged some of them, but it only takes one hit to go down. It became increasingly obvious that we would need a plan. So here's a map of the island. Here we've got the enemy Sam sites. Here are the enemy ships. A group of four enemy fighters engage our wingmen here, and another group of four enemy fighters show up a few minutes later over here. Now for the record, I never said that our missile evasion strategy was great, and it clearly wasn't good enough to deal with the high volume of enemy fire, so I'd have to tweak it to compensate for my current lack of skill. Instead of flying closer to an enemy after firing missiles, we'd fire, wait for them to lock on, and turn back to our own fleet. Our ships would hopefully fire anti missile missiles to destroy anything coming for us, and otherwise we'd hopefully get enough distance to outrun or easily evade anything nasty still coming our way. Once the first group of enemy fighters were done for, we'd turn and fight the second. Then we could rearm at the carrier to deal with the ground targets with anti-raider missiles and guided weapons. All right, let's beat this thing. Once more, I took off into the sky and fired missiles. Then I immediately turned around and ran back to our allied carrier like an absolute coward. After doing this a few times, the first group of enemy fighters was done for. I turned on to the second group and, well, they went down surprisingly quickly. The plan was actually working. For the first time, all of the enemy fighters were downed. So I went back to land on the carrier. After a few harrowing attempts, we were armed and ready to rock once more. I was excited. I was ready. This was going to be it. I could feel it. So I took off again, ready to finally win this thing, and then, almost immediately, one of the enemy ships blew me up with a missile. I didn't even get close. It felt unfair, and wow was I pissed. So for a while, I forgot the plan and just angrily drove straight in and got shot down pretty quickly. After a long stare out of a window and a tall glass of water, I was calm and ready to go back in. Just like before, the strategy of being a coward and using my allies as shields worked very well, and all of the enemy planes went down. This was actually getting easier, and since I was using one or two of the wrinkles in my brain, I might actually pull this off. Once more, I landed on the carrier, armed to fight the enemy Sams and ships, and took off. This time, I didn't get shot down immediately and went on an absolute rampage. I destroyed every single enemy radar that was switched on and went for a cruise around the island, blowing stuff up as I went and narrowly avoiding a few missiles. The victory lap was here. Just one more rearm and I could finish off the last enemy ships and win this thing. So I started landing on the carrier and... I was actually getting good at missile evasion and avoided several, while my own missiles and my teammates were very effective and took out the enemy fighters quickly. Yes. So I very cautiously this time landed on the aircraft carrier while the enemy ships somehow managed to take missile pot shots at me, so it took me a while. Meanwhile, our last remaining ally was going absolutely ham and was demolishing the enemy ships and ground defenses. Check. By the time I took off again, there was barely anything left. It occurred to me that this might actually be it. This time I might actually win. I had already resigned myself to a fate of playing this mission until the end of time or until I got bored and gave up on this video. Would I actually complete the difficult mission? Could I actually finally call myself a VR pilot? The few remaining enemy ships were easy targets for some guided missiles and so I hunted for the last air defense radars. After flying around the island a bit, I spotted it and blew it up with my guns. We had actually done it, and a new objective popped up, RTB. That meant we'd have to return to base and pull off a carrier landing one more time. It was time to confront our greatest and most deadly enemy once again. So I flew back to the carrier, put my landing gear down, and swooped in for the final landing. We did it! Let's go! Let's Let's go! That was it. The difficult mission was done. And overall, I'd say that despite all of the difficulties in pulling this off, VTOL VR is a ton of fun. If you want a modern-esque flight sim experience in virtual reality, then this is the game for that. As always, this has been Reality Remake. Good luck and have fun.